Healing Kitchen, what's up, y'all? Can you hear me? Happy Wednesday, family. Welcome to Healing Kitchen. On the one, hopefully we got a good broadcast going here. We're using a different thing, loading up well here. Happy Wednesday, guys. Welcome to Healing Kitchen. All right, just making sure that we've got this going here. All right, I think we're good. We'll see how the feed is. <laughs> I've got some fresh turmeric being delivered right now as well. You got it now? Is your mouth hurting? Okay. Bring some fresh turmeric. Yeah. All right, guys, what's up? Happy Wednesday. Welcome to Healing Kitchen. Gail Angeles could not be on the show today. She has um, another broadcast that she's doing. Thank you very much. We got some fresh turmeric too. Oh, yeah. Uh, awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, so, happy Wednesday. So, I am on Healing Kitchen today for Gail Angeles. She will be back next week on the One TV or on Healing Kitchen Live. Hi, son. Um, but what we are going to be making today, guys, we're going to do this super quick. So Healing Kitchen Live has been a cooking show that's been on Facebook Live for the last the kitchen, about an hour long show. We get into a really deep meal, talk about it. At all. Today we're going to be doing uh, herbal lattes three different ways. So today it's going to be a little simpler, uh, a little quicker. We're going to be in and out about 30 minutes. Um, I'm doing three different lattes, all herbal, all um, plant-based, and one's going to be made on the stove, and then two are going to actually be made in the Vitamix as well. Uh, I got Healing Kitchen over here on to the left, so if the one, if you guys see me looking to the left, I'm talking to my Healing Kitchen family. Uh, if you're not following Healing Kitchen and you're on the One TV right now, please make sure that you follow Healing Kitchen Live. Um, it's got tons of recipes, a lot of healthy living tips, lifestyle tips, um, you know, plant-based meals. There's over 80 different videos that are on Healing Kitchen Live that are 100% plant-based. So check them out if you're not following Healing Kitchen Live. But hi, Healing Kitchen. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get our um, our herbs on the stove first. Ah, Angela, what's up, love? Happy Wednesday. I've got Angela on with me. She's down in Florida growing turmeric. I just got some fresh turmeric. Definitely not as fresh as you have, Angela. Uh, maybe you can tell us a little bit about why you grow turmeric or how it grows. Can you share with the show, Angela, about that? Um, but we're going to go ahead and get some dried herbs on and steeping so that we can be making our lavender tea. Uh, we are making a coconut lavender latte. We are making a pistachio golden milk latte, which is going to have the turmeric. And then we are also making a hemp and pistachio um, matcha latte. So three different lattes, super quick. All three are so delicious. The reason why I had to make this today was last night, uh, my youngest asked me to make herbal tea when we came home from the park. And I knew we wanted to have something creamy. It's really cool. It was chilly when we were coming home. And so we said, well, how about doing a coconut lavender latte? And... Um, and this is it. Like, this is the recipe to share. So all three were inspired based on this coconut lavender latte that we're going to do first. Sorry, guys, I just left the screen. I'm turning something over there. Sorry. Uh, we're going to make that first so we can get the herbs cooking down or boiling down, um, light boil, and then we'll make the other two in the Vitamix and then finish up with the lavender one. So this is going to have uh, three different, four different dried herbs. Um, lavender, we're going to do two tablespoons of dried lavender leaves. Uh, oh my goodness. Oh, like Medina says, can you try to smell it? Like try to smell this amazing lavender. So pure healing kitchen. Uh, we have lavender leaves. They are, dry. um, you could use fresh because you're making this, um, you know, to drink right away and we're making it as a fresh tea. So we could do fresh lavender, but I don't think too many of us have fresh lavender um, flowers right now, at least not in the northern hemisphere. But so two tablespoons of lavender. I don't have any water in here yet. Actually, let's do three tablespoons of lavender because this is so delicious, like the lavender feeling. It's anti-inflammatory as well. So any type of nasal congestion, anything that you're having, which sending so much love out to anybody who's struggling with this crazy flu that's been moving around. It's been super heavy. Um, but this is a super healing tea. We're going to talk about all the plants, but um, I'm going to go ahead and put three tablespoons of lavender in because it's so yummy 
and we all had the flu probably about two weeks ago. So we're continuing to try to keep all of our herbs up. Jean, I have Jean on the line. Oh, Jean, thank you, love. Happy Wednesday. I'm happy to have you here. We've got Healing Kitchen Live family popping in on Healing Kitchen side. Uh, if you guys are not following Healing Kitchen, please get over to that page. And there's so many good recipes, amazing community too that's been building for the last couple of years. So hi, Jean. Welcome, love. All right, so three tablespoons of dry lavender leaves. I am going to have all of the recipes added to the post after as well. Um, but we're actually going to kind of make the measurements together here because I don't really do measurements. I just throw everything together. All right, Angela. Yes, the video was buffering. I didn't hear what you said. But yes, I'm excited to hear about your herbal lattes. All right, dang. I was hoping that it wasn't doing that too. Uh, we're working on, I'm working on getting a solid uh, internet line here so we can use the computer. Um, but we're on Healing Kitchen Live too, so please be sure to tune in over there as well. And I'll make sure that I share this video over here um, if we're losing some of the content. All right, so this is going to be a lavender lemon moringa latte. So I've got a couple of lemon slices. These are local lemon slices. This is the desert. Um, stuff not buffering now though awesome thanks angela thanks for helping me out <laughs> um i think also i have to just watch uh, i'm on a wi-fi we're gonna have to get a landline but we're gonna we're working on it so these are last season's lemons and they are from local trees so i'm adding in probably about i don't know probably about a whole lemon worth of dry lemon peels give or take All right, and just adding those in, and then we're going to do some fresh moringa. Moringa also grows like wild all over um, the desert. It's a plant that does really, really well in the hot temperatures. Um, this is fresh, well, it was fresh. This is moringa also from the desert. Shouting out Andrew, my friend, tree brother, desert that goes out to a monastery about 45 minutes outside of town and uh, works with the monks out there and uses um, and brings some of their stuff back. So. Um, oh, oh, Tony, you like lattes too? These are going to be really delicious. So you're going to want to make one of these for sure. Um, the lavender, this is a lavender latte. So I know that you love that. Um, all right. So we're going to be also adding in horsetail as well. And the main reason for that, um, I drink a lot of horsetail. I try to keep horsetail in my life. We have, um, I'm going to do just one. Just one tablespoon of horsetail. And you can do any other herb in this. This is just kind of an extra herb that I try to keep um, in my diet regularly. Um, horsetail is full of silica and is really good for hair, nail, and kidneys. It helps build collagen. And it seems like I have something in my family that we're not really good with making collagen. So I'm always trying to make sure I'm intaking horsetail. So you could add in, you know, alfalfa. Um, you could add in... Um, Anything that's really nutrient dense, but kind of in um, a neutral flavor. So you would, if you added peppermint into this, it would really change the flavor. Um, chamomile would really change the flavor. Chamomile would be really good in this, though. But with the chamomile and the lavender, like Tony knows, most death, uh, lavender does calm you down and relax you quite a bit. So um, adding chamomile in this would make this really like a nighttime tea. Um, but this is good all the time. All right. Um, so horsetail, lavender, moringa, lemon. And then we're going to fill this up with water and just let this come to a boil. And that was probably like three cups of water. Boil and then let it simmer. Uh, drop it back down to like a medium low and then let it simmer. We don't want to cook the herbs. We don't want to kill all the essential oils. We want to slowly allow them to release. Um, so I bring it up to a boil and kind of even catch it right before the boil um, and then decrease it and let it just simmer low. Angela, ooh, I didn't know that about horsetail. Yeah, and it's like one of those plants that people call weeds, right? So they grow all over. I can remember being at my um, at my sister's house in San Diego a couple years ago. Sorry, Healing Kitchen, I'm trying to keep you guys connected. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't kicked it with you guys in a while. All right. Or maybe I should just, I'm trying to look at you, both of you. <laughs> All right. Um, 
And I was at my sister's apartment complex and horsetail was just growing through the grass. So it's one of those plants that you probably have growing on the farm, Angela, and it's super good. Yeah, full of, uh, full of silica. And if you look at the plant, all those little knobs that the horsetail grows, those little like knuckles, that's where all the silica is at. So we actually want to dry the entire plant, break it down and drink it or take it as a, a supplement as well. Grinding it up and taking it as a supplement is really good, too. Um, all right. So we've got that going. Let me stir this up really quick. All right, and the lemon and the lavender are going to be the major flavors that we get in this as well. All right, so next one, let's go ahead and do our matcha latte. Chandra, where can we get horsetail? Thank you for joining, Chandra um, or Sandra. Tell me if it's Sandra or it's not Chandra. There's no use. So maybe it's Sandra. Um, but thank you for joining. You can get horsetail. So one of my favorite herbal providers is Mountain Rose Herbs. They are located up in Oregon. We used to live really near the, the location near the retail shop in their uh, major production facility in Eugene, Oregon. So those are some of my favorite folks because I know their quality of herbs. I know how they do business and um, I tend to order from them. But I can guarantee that there is an herbal shop somewhere. Somewhere, so I'll guarantee, I guess isn't the right word. I'm pretty sure there's an herbal shop somewhere near you that also carries horsetail. So if you want to buy it in bulk, I would say Mountain Rose Herbs. Um, and if you want to just get a little bit to try this recipe out, a local herb shop. Um, you know, they're definitely going to have it like in capsules and things that sprouts and whole foods. But for the fresh herb, for the dried herb, this is, i got to refill this. But for the dried herb, uh, you want to do like an actual herb shop. All right, so next we're going to do a matcha latte. Uh, matcha is a super cool and interesting plant, mostly because of how it's grown. So let me see if I can get, get this really bright green color here. That's almost gone too. Uh, matcha tea girl, I gotta re-up. I gotta re-up on my matcha tea girl. This is like some of the highest quality matcha that we've used before. Um, but if you can see that really bright green color in there, I don't know if we've got the right lighting or not. Um, but the reason that matcha is so special is that that bright green is because it's super um, uh, concentrated with chlorophyll. And the way that they get the plant to be super concentrated with chlorophyll is that they actually cover the plant while they are growing. Sophia, what's up, love, on Healing Kitchen? Happy Wednesday. Thanks for joining in. We're making lattes three ways, ladies. Um, so they cover the plant as it's preparing to grow and by covering the plant, it actually creates a, a stress on the plant and the stress, the plant goes into like overdrive production of chlorophyll. So we get this super concentrated chlorophyll filled plant that they dry super like in a very gentle way and then grind up and then they have matcha. Um, it's something that's been used in Japan and in China for thousands of years and really great for energy. And this is like a super anti-aging plant um if you guys don't know what matcha tea girl is yet go to matcha tea on facebook or matcha tea girl.com the founder of this company man every time i see her oh my girl can you give me some matcha let me have some matcha where's my matcha you need to be sharing it you can't just come around here <laughs> like it's just amazing so amazing anti-aging plant um good for cholesterol diabetes all of it though sean um Delmara, what's up, Fran? She's in the house. Delmara's going to be on the One TV very soon. I'm super excited to add you, Fran. Hello. Happy Wednesday, Fran. Great to hear your voice, too. Um, uh, Sandra. I'm going to say Sandra. Mountain Rose Herbs. Yes. Check, check. All right. So we're going to do hemp milk. Um, on Medina's Living Fantasy, she recently on the, on the One TV. She'll be on next Wednesday at 2 p.m. time. Uh, she made hemp milk. So what we're going to do is do a variation of what that of what Medina did. Uh, but we're actually going to be making a hemp latte. So what Medina did was took one cup of hemp seeds or hemp hearts plus three cups of water and blended it up. We're going to continue to blend it up, add in some more plants and continue to blend it until it actually gets hot, which takes about minutes. So I'm going to have the blender running for about five minutes. You guys are going to have to be patient with me for that. Um, but so we could actually take that regular hemp milk and blend it a little more or even heat it up 
on the stove, it's better in the blender and make a latte. And it gets a little bit creamier as well when we actually blend it in there. We're also gonna add a few pistachios. So pistachio nut milk, whoa. <laughs> pistachio nut butter, whoa. Um, pistachio nut milk, oh my gosh, it's so creamy. This is really my favorite latte, it's just using pistachios, but I'm trying to be diverse here and show you guys a bunch of different plants. Um, so, so good. Even just like a handful of pistachios added into any nut milk that you're making is delicious. So we're gonna do just um, probably like a third of a cup. So I have a cup of hemp seed hearts and about a third of a cup of pistachios. Um, to that, I'm going to add one teaspoon of matcha, which is going to look like clear out my matcha. As you, this can, we've got a few. So one teaspoon of matcha. And then I'm also doing some dried moringa as well, you guys. So um, the moringa, the fresh moringa that we put into the lavender tea, I'm also doing dried moringa. This is from the same friend, Andrew, and from the same monastery as well, same moringa trees. Um, moringa is, it's a super plant. Like you can take a stick of moringa, stick it into the earth and with the right in, you know, environment, the right amount of water, you're gonna get a new tree. Self has such a desire life. like that. Plants be alive, we want to intake them. Because we intake that with, um, as many different plants as many times a day as possible. So we're also going to do a teaspoon, uh, a heaping teaspoon, anything that's over that, that level, a heaping teaspoon or tablespoon. So it is a heaping one, but we're going to do moringa here. Uh, a dash of salt. I like to put just a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt. Um, in the latte, it helps balance out the And we're going to, no, that's going to be for that. What are we going to do in the syrup? Where's the syrup at? Bingo. Oh. All right, tea is coming to a boil. All right, so I've got the tea. Um, hold that down. We're at low. We're going to simmer that down on low. All right, so I'm going to add in Sophia. Not sure if it's my Wi-Fi, but the light keeps freezing. It might be, be mine, and I've got to get a hard line. Hopefully. Yeah, it might be mine, Sophia. I appreciate you telling me that, though, um, because I think it's happening on both sides. We're in a concrete building, so all of the love I want to give for my house is coming from a concrete building. <laughs> and so, unfortunately, the feed is not the best always. But y'all are here, though. All right, so I'm going to do about probably about a third of a cup of maple syrup as well. Um, or let's, you know, let's save that for the other one. We'll just do just honey on this one. different sweet sticky sticky okay so that's about a third of a cup of honey eight states are super with this as well um, and then we're going to do three cups of water And that's it. All right, we're going to put this onto the Vitamix. This is a high-powered blender. So if you have a high-powered blender that can make hot soups or hot drinks or hot teas, that's what I'm using here. This isn't just like a Ninja blender or like your regular Oster at home. This is something different and more, more powerful.
All right, so that's about the time it takes. You got to just kind of keep your hand on the blender and make sure that it's warm. Um, also, when you're making juices and smoothies, I always keep my hand checking the temperature on the juice or on the milk um, to make sure that it doesn't get warm. Oh, pistachio moringa.